Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey, welcome back to the Bible Bistro. This is Daily Dose Radio. Come on in here. We're going to study a little Bible today, five minutes a day, five days a week, studying the Psalms verse by verse. That's my elevator speech. That's what that's what we do here. Five minutes a day, five days a week, <clears throat> studying verse by verse. In Daily Dose Radio, we love the Psalms. That's all we study. We've been through it already one time. We went through it in four years, and we're going to try to duplicate that. So we're going to call this the four-year Bible bus. Or rather, I, I think this is more like a Bible segue. You know, we're on our little little scooters trolling through the trolling down the hallway and checking out each room as we go along. And uh, this is a long hallway. That's why we have to have segues. Today we're looking at Psalm 68, verses 8, 9, and 10. Yesterday we ended with verse 7. O God, when thou wentest forth before thy people, when thou didst march through the wilderness. Selah. So the Selah was a pause for us. And now we come to verse 8. The earth shook. The heavens also dropped at the presence of God. Even Sinai itself was moved at the presence of God, the God of Israel. Thou, O God, didst send a plentiful rain, whereby thou didst confirm thine inheritance when it was weary. Thy congregation hath dwelt therein. Thou, O God, hast prepared of thy goodness for the poor. Now, you'll notice that we. it's interesting how the Selah kind of breaks this action up. When God went forth before thy people and you marched through the wilderness, break with the Selah. And then you come to verse 8, the earth shook. I mean, you you just jump right back into it. The earth shook when you marched through the wilderness. (laughs) I was thinking about uh, when I was a boy, I'm going to tell a story on myself. When I was a wee lad, my father, who's gone on to be with the Lord now, he, he loved to read his Sunday paper on Sunday afternoon. We'd come home from church, he'd, we'd have lunch, he'd sit down, and he would read the Sunday paper. And I mean, he'd read every stitch of it from cover to cover. And of course, back then, the paper was much larger than it is now. There was a lot more in it. It was a lot larger in size as well. And then after he'd read his paper, he'd take a nap. Well, he was reading his paper one Sunday afternoon, and I decided that I needed to bother my father. And so I walked up, he had the paper, you know, he was holding it in both hands, and he's reading, and I I pushed the paper in and so that it kind of collapsed. And he chuckled at that, and then he straightened it out, and then I hit it again, and it collapsed again. Well, I kept doing that until he finally put the paper down, and he looked at me, and he said, don't touch the paper again. And of course, when he folded it back up and started reading, I punched it again, Well, he put the paper down and stood to his feet. And as soon as he did that, all the blood rushed to my toes. And I tried to run, but I couldn't get away fast enough. And I don't remember what happened after that, but I'm sure it wasn't pleasant. And so this is the story here. God stands up. He rides on the storm. He marches through the wilderness. And when he does, the earth shakes. Everybody knows it. Sinai is moved at the presence of God. The earth, the heavens, they all drop at the presence of God. So this picture is of the majesty of God, him moving. It not only affects the wicked and not only affects the righteous, it affects the earth itself because the very presence of the creator God marching through creation is something the creation hasn't seen since the garden. And so here we have him marching, and everybody is upset. They're all moved at this, the presence of God. Remember, at the presence of God, the wicked perished. In at creation, in front of the creation, at the presence of God, they're moved. They don't perish, but they're moved because they've not done anything wicked to perish over. You did send a plentiful rain. O God, thou didst send a plentiful rain, whereby thou didst confirm thine, thine inheritance when it was weary. This is some time, perhaps this is the period of Ahab when Elijah was ministering and there was no water in the land and then suddenly showers came and restored the land. Perhaps this is what's being uh, thought of here. And then verse 10, 
Thy congregation hath dwelt therein, O God, hath, hast prepared of thy goodness for the poor. So now we include the poor with the widow, the orphan, and those that dwell in solitude. All right, well, join me again tomorrow. We'll pick up in verse 11 and see what happens then on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.